hello guys welcome back to this youtube channel with the ink and i'm happy to be back bringing this video uh this video i'm answering a question that i find uh clients come to me ask me a question uh i got this tattoo from uh, this artist and i realized my tattoo is somehow swollen or it feels bumpy so guys that's what i'll be addressing today but before then guys if you're new here don't hesitate guys proceed and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification guys uh, so that we can be in a community you can be a community and every time i upload a new video guys you'll be among the first people who get to see to to, to get notified and uh, i also have a course if if you're interested in getting in learning how to do tattoos or piercings i have a course i'm offering on tattoo shop near me.co.ke if you want to reach out to me directly my contacts then they are in the description section i also do tattooing and piercings i take appointments if you're interested in my services guys book an appointment my contacts then in the description section and having said that guys let's get into today's video guys as I promised you, I'll be giving reasons why your tattoo can feel bumpy or feel swollen sometimes. So guys, I'll be giving you four reasons that can result to your tattoo uh, being bumpy. So by all means necessary, avoid, avoid if possible these four reasons for your tattoo to heal perfectly and not to feel bumpy. The first point are <coughs> swelling. Whenever there, there are people who are more sensitive, whereby whenever they get a tattoo, their body tends to swell, uh, to swell more as compared to others. In that situation, the swelling comes as a result of your body gets more blood to that area in order to provide more nutrients, uh, and also the body is also notified there there is a damage that happened in a specific part of your body, so the the, the body tends to send more blood. Uh, with the aim to prevent any infection that may happen and also to speed up the process of healing so you realize that your body pumps more blood more blood gets into that area this is what normally leads to finding your tattoo particularly whenever you find your, your tattoo artists have really really struggled with the outline you find your tattoo tends to swell more so guys Swelling is one of the reasons uh, swelling whenever you get a, after you get a tattoo is one of the reasons that uh, results to your tattoo healing and remaining to be bumpy so guys if you know you are those people whose body is really sensitive uh, i would request you don't go for those those big tattoos take a small tattoo a small tattoo at a time so guys that makes up our first point and uh hope you have noted that let's proceed to the second the second point and our second point uh it's irritation Irritation is whereby your skin is so sensitive. There are part of your body that the skin is more sensitive as compared to others. Particularly, you see the inner part of your bicep around this area. That part is really sensitive. I don't know why, but I guess the first reason is because the area is not exposed to, to sunlight a lot as compared to other parts. So you realize areas that you are more sensitive, your skin is more sensitive you are you may get some irritation this irritation may come as a result of the uh the kind of ink that has been used by the tattoo artist uh the pigment that make up that that tattoo ink uh the irritation may also come along with the with the aftercare product that you're using there are people who don't their body don't react well with metals and you find if you get a tattoo with ink pigments that are made up of metal definitely your tattoo may turn out to be bumpy and you may realize that your tattoo end up being swollen forever the swelling the, the, the swelling can happen for the first two to three days but it's supposed to go away your tattoo should not remain swollen forever so irritation is one of the causes that uh, causes the tattoo to, to, to get swollen so guys that, that's our second point. So if you know your skin is so sensitive, it's advisable whenever you, you go for a tattoo. It's, you can inquire with your tattoo artist uh, the kind of ink they're using, the ingredients that make up the ink. Uh, asking a few questions that doesn't do any harm. 
so guys if you know you are those kind of people please 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 don't hesitate to ask your, uh, your, your tattoo artist and if possible go for those organic uh tattoo ink so guys that's make up our second point and let's proceed to the third point the scarring scarring is whereby you find your you got a tattoo from a less experienced tattoo artist so in such a situation we normally call those tattoo artists who are still in the learning process they're called scratchers by scratchers i mean somebody who is giving a tattoo that is uh i would call it it's, uh, it's half baked in this situation you find the artist may struggle to pull up clean outline so you realize that at pass a line like three to four times in long run what happens with that situation you realize that it, your tattoo tends to to have spots which are their wounds and during the healing process you realize those those spots they normally stand they, they normally uh turn out to be to be white spots meaning the tattoo artist is stressed that area one one of the reasons that may cause this stress is using uh a less powerful machine or using excessive voltage when you're doing that. Whenever a situation whereby that we find the, the 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 needles gets too deep into the skin, that tattoo will end up being a scar. And in that situation you may realize that in an area whereby you have keloids, the scar during the healing process you may find the scar normally gets swollen. And uh that's that's one of the reasons uh you realize like if if you are a scratch or you are you are a beginner in this tattoo industry don't go to to give people those big tattoos you know you won't, you, you won't do them the perfect way